Hey, what's going on, Capricorn Moon? How are you? Capricorn Moon, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate your time and your energy and your love. And just thank you guys so much for just sticking with the channel. Um, if you're here for the first time, I welcome you. And welcome to 2020. All right. So this is your moon sign message for January 2020. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to kick off the first messages of the new year with moon signs. Because, of course, you know, our moon sign or the moon period just, you know, really governs our emotions and um, you know, the, uh, intuitive aspect of things as well as, um, you know, things that might be, you know, in the shadows, right. Things that needs to be uncovered or maybe things that you're trying to keep covered, you know, you know, just all aspects of things like that. So I wanted to take a look and see how you're going to be bringing in 2020 emotionally, um, in spite of, you know, whatever is happening with your sun sign anywhere else. And, um, let's go ahead and dig right in. All right. Of course, this is geared for our Capricorn moon signs. Now, with that being said, you may be able to resonate if you are here as a Capricorn sun or a Capricorn ascending. Um, you know, definitely you may find a message here. But again, like I said, this is more uh, the intention is more so set for our Capricorn moon here for this reading. OK, but like I said, if you're here for any other sign, of course, I do welcome you. All right. So. Capricorn Moon, thank you so much, Spirit, so much for allowing us to see and understand and interpret the messages here for Capricorn Moon. Please allow us to see what Capricorn Moon may be going through emotionally, what they may be walking into emotionally as they step over the 2020 threshold and navigate throughout the rest of January. So, all right, let's do one more shuffle. So first message here is the Libra card, I balance, card number 19. All right. Um, interestingly enough, um, I think it was a uh, Taurus moon that also had the same card. Um, so Capricorn moon, you, you know, you, you could be, uh, you know, if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this may resonate with you. Um, if you're dealing with the Taurus, you know, this may resonate with the both of you, but um, not trying to get into the Taurus moon message individually though, for you Capricorn moon, what I'm feeling though, is I am feeling like, you know, as you move forward into 2020 and throughout January, um, a lot of the situations that you're going to be emotional about, um, or a lot of things, uh, that are going to be happening on the back end of whatever else is going on at the time is going to be more so on the relationship level. Um, whether that's a relationship with, a partner, a love partner. For Taurus Moon, it was more so a family thing. But for here, I mean, at this point, I mean, I don't know. It could be a, a love partner or a, a, a family member, you know, um, somebody from work, you know, whatever, a very close friend. Okay. For Taurus Moon, like I said, it was a, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a, a family thing, I feel. But, you know, whatever, at whatever point, I mean, whatever relationship this is speaking to, it'll come out here in the reading. But as an open general thing, I mean, however it really relates to you, we'll see. But definitely, this is about some sort of close relationship, how you feel about it as you guys move from, 20, from 2019 into 2020. And, uh, and it's kind of going to be a theme that's going to carry out through maybe the greater part of January and even possibly February. Like, I feel this is really deep. But let's go ahead and pull a little bit more information. All right. What what specific signs or what signs in general is spirit trying to get you to, to pay attention to? Things that spirit may be just trying to throw in your face a lot. You may be seeing. Um, all right. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. All right. Our first message is aroma, memories. Mm. And look, there's a very brown tone here to this card as well, just like with the um, Libra card here. All right. So listen, this could be someone, honestly, um, what I'm feeling is this is someone that you've known for a very, very long time. Someone, maybe even someone that you're not even connected with now, but maybe just someone from your past. Um, I really feel like uh, as, a, you know, a, like uh, with this aroma card, you know, you may be kind of... Um, 
your memory may be jogged of this particular person because you may, I don't know, you may encounter an individual who, who smells like them, who wears the same scent. Or you may step into an environment where, you know, the environment smells of a, 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 a memory that the two of you made at, at, at some certain point. All right. Um, could be romantic. I'm really feeling romantic energies with this. Um, in fact, listen, I really feel like the way that you're even going to come back in contact with this person is I feel like you're going to smell them before they come. I don't mean that in any funny way or any negative way, but, you know, sometimes, you know, depending on who's wearing a particular scent, you know, um, you know, their aroma precedes them or recedes them. You know what I mean? Like you may walk into their path of where they just came from. It's just like, ah, that person, they're close. I know they are, you know, I mean, that's really random, but I mean, it's happened. Right. Um, but anyways, you know, there, or, or at least there's some sort of smell that kind of brings you back to a connection that you and someone else had before. Okay. It's going to make you remember something about a particular relationship. All right. The next card that we have here is hummingbird sweetness. And this could be directly in relation to the smell that that person always had. This could be a reflection of like the personality that this person had. I really do feel very romantic vibes with this. And the reason why is because as it deals, as it deals with this relationship that we already know, there is some sort of imbalance in it. Okay. And I really feel like it may be someone that you're separated from that may be about to come back around for, to you in 2020. And maybe you might not have been actively seeking them to come back around Capricorn Moon, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you weren't necessarily closed off to the idea of, you know, that occurring, right? And in light of that, I think spirit is going to end up making you cross paths with this person, okay? Um, it's going to put you in very familiar spaces, and it's going to put you in very... Uh, various places, spirit is going to put you in various places where, you know, you're going to be confronted with the memory of this person, whether it's something you see someone else do for someone else, or whether it's, you know, like I said, just the, the smell of it all, the aroma of the environment is going to make this person begin to, you're going to make the, you're going to end up thinking about this person and end up calling this person to you. And also on top of that, it's vice versa. I feel like that person is, is going to be feeling like, you know, you're being called to them as well. Okay. Um, honestly, I feel like Capricorn Moon, I feel like there's probably someone is, I feel like someone, whoever you're thinking about here, I feel like they may have already been kind of hovering over you and not like in a stalkerish way. It's just like their energy has always kind of been with you because they've always, you know, They've always kept themselves open to possibly reconciling with you as well. So it's like every now and again, it's like they catch a whiff of you. You catch a whiff of them, you know. Uh, the, ooh, you know, honestly, some of you is like you may end up just kind of coming across an article of clothing that just kind of still smells like them. And it just takes you all the way back. And there's just really, really high sense of nostalgia here. Um, but I really feel like there's a possibility that this, you may end up running into this person again. Um, and you know, anything that, you know, may have caused an imbalance in the relationship before is going to begin to balance themselves out as you two, uh, kind of get to know each other all over again and see that, that sweet and kind side of each other again. Okay. Let's go ahead and post a tarot. Get one more shuffle. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Our central energy. Oh, look at there. The two of cups. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Rom strong romantic energy. Like my ears are getting hot even right now. Um, as I even give this reading, it's just like, I just feel like so much. It's like uh, this person just brings you to that, that, that feeling. Like they make you feel warm. They make you feel all fuzzy. And it's just like, 
you know, no matter what has actually occurred in the past, it's like when this person comes around again, it's like you're going to feel all that same energy for them again. And it's so beautiful. It's so sweet. It is so cute. However, at the same time, they're not just coming around for shits and giggles and you're not being confronted with them by spirit just for shits and giggles. Like, no, they're coming around because there's things that need to be worked out between y'all because there still is something between y'all. However, there's some things that need to be balanced out. Okay. All right. So the Hierophant card. So listen, um, what I'm feeling, honestly, is I'm feeling there may be some of you out there who aren't necessarily divorced, but maybe you're just kind of separated. You may actually be divorced, but you may still be coming back with this person or this just, even if this isn't you coming back, this person is just back in your life to fix something and, or to at least figure something out. There's something you needed to figure out, but there are contracts involved here. There is a, a legal thing involved here is what I'm feeling. And I do feel the nine of wands. So yeah, so someone is trying to come back because they do want to be with the other person again. I do feel that regardless of how things are separated, regardless if that divorce was final or if it's just a breakup and you're still legally together or whatever the status of the relationship is at this point. Someone definitely does want to come back and they want to make things official. However, there is a there is a feeling here of with the nine of wands, like, I don't know, because, you know, I've been through this already with you and this is how it ended up. But this, I feel like there's another part of the situation that says, you know, I, you still want to, you still want to try because you do still love this person. This part of your energy is still carried with this person and part of their energy is still carried with you. The next card here is the Seven of Wands. So someone is definitely really wanting to defend the things that they did in the past. And they really want to, well, maybe not defend it, but at least they want to explain themselves. Okay. They do want the opportunity to be able to explain themselves and not in any type of, not in any sort of defensive way. Yeah, I didn't mean to use that word, but but they, they at least do want some sort of platform to be to be able to explain themselves and, um, you know, talk about the reasonings that they did, the things that they did in the relationship with, with you in the past. OK, and the next card after that is the death card. Wow. Wow. So basically, when all is said and done here, <laughs> when all is said and done here, regardless if, if you decide to move forward romantically with this person or if you decide to just keep it cute and cordial and acquaintances with this person. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, after the decision is made to go either way, it's just going to be all in the past. After that, things will move on and carry on the way they need to. Things will transition and evolve the way they need to. So I feel like this is like a, a one-all, be-all chance um, for you and someone else to really come down and really just talk about and balance and, you know, seek understanding within the relationship uh that you guys may have had in the past, or it may be even a current relationship that you're with, in, that you're with with someone, and things are just a little bit off balance. Um, <clears throat> but I really feel more strongly where this is a past relationship. Um, okay, now the card under the deck here is the Five of Cups. So listen, yeah, the driving force here with the card under the deck being the Five of Cups. The driving force is. You know, honestly, you didn't really want things to end as messily as they did, right? You really didn't want things to be the big clusterfuck of mess that it was at the time that you two separated. You really didn't want that. You know, you really wanted the best and you really wanted things to work then, right? But it didn't, okay? And so, like, with this person here, even though they're looking at a big mess, it's like they do still have that two of cups behind them because there's still that love that they do have for this person in the, in the situation. Now, whether this is you, Capricorn, or them, it may be the both of you, all right? So, this is the energy that's at least allowing you to be able to uh, feel open enough to um, at least hear this person out and try again, okay? And it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter who did wrong to who in the relationship here, Capricorn Moon. It doesn't matter who did wrong to who. It's really a matter of 
are we going to let bygones just go ahead and just be bygones? Um, are we really going to just go ahead and just, you know, understand that, you know, we've matured a little bit. Um, I've explained to you the reasons why I did what I did. You're explaining to me the reasons why you did what you did. Um, so now that we have that understanding, can we seek balance? Can we try again? Okay. Some of you, some of you are open to that. Some of you are definitely more fully open to not just sitting down and having this uh, uh, powwow with this person, you know, this one time, one time, all time conversation with this person, even though you're open to that, some of you will still be open to the, uh, actually, you know, being in a relationship again with this person. Others of you won't be, but that's okay. But either way, at the end, once that decision, once that decision is made, anything that has happened in the past up to this conversation is like, all right, new slate. Okay. So it's like, you're going to either come together or you're going to come together. Regardless, you're going to connect again. Definitely. You're going to connect again. Now, it's just an option of, all right, once I, I decide that this person is just going to be just an acquaintance to my life and nobody important again, then that's what the decision is. And, you know, it's never going to be discussed again. Or if this person, if you do decide to go ahead and be with them for the long haul and, and, and try again and, you know, uh, accept propositions that I do feel like may possibly be coming, then awesome. Awesome. More power to you. And guess what? It's still all good. Because, like I said, if you make that decision, even if you make that decision too, everything that they have done up to this point is a new slate. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull from our Chakra Oracle deck. And I like the Chakra Oracle deck because it does allow us to pay attention to a little bit of what Spirit wants to, Spirit wants to tell us about our internal selves. So that we can, you know, fix those things and maybe even navigate through this energy a lot smoother, okay? So the first card we have here is card number 42, Insight. That's a very pretty card. That's a very pretty card. And it is a very pretty message here, actually, too, because, um, you know... Listen, every even every decision that you made in this relationship was based off of your insight into it or how you saw into the relationship from your side, okay? And so with that seven of wands, again, I do feel like there is a need to say, okay, hey, listen, I... This is this is the reason why. This is my insight into it. They're going to share their insight. You're going to share your insight. And it's up to you guys to understand, which is actually a word here on the card. Understanding, Okay. You know, being aware of the type of people that you both were in that moment. Okay. I feel like someone wants to communicate that they've, that they have changed, you know, that the old part of themselves has kind of died away. They want to under, they want you to understand that. All right. The next card here that we have is card number 12, desires, goals, passions, cravings, fulfillment. So someone is definitely, definitely desiring to be back in a relationship with you, Capricorn Moon, or you're de or you're desiring to be back in a relationship with someone. Um, even if it's not even the desire to really even start that relationship back up, this is where there is at least just a desire to see this person again and explain yourself and just have them understand, you know, you know, just kind of put things in the past and really get maybe some sort of closure there, you know. If it's not you guys coming back together, then there's at least closure that needs to be uh, happening here within this relationship. All right. So Capricorn Moon, let me know how. Oh, that's card number 42. And then that's card number 12. So we still got that two there. That two energy, which is the two of cups there. So anyways, let me go. Um, <laughs> uh, Capricorn Moon, this is a great message. Let me know how all, how all this is working out in the comment box below. Um, thank you guys so much for the thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for the subscribes. Please subscribe if you will. And um, more importantly, though, make sure you make sure you like my comment box up. Like I love reading y'all's comments. Like thank you guys so much. Like the comments is where I really do get to connect with you guys. So thank you. Um, let's see. Personal reading information will be in the description box below. And I don't think I have anything else to say. But this was a great reading, okay? So, all right, Capricorn Moon. I'll see you guys later. Keep on shuffling. Bye.